U.S. Commerce Department has added uh, 53 Chinese companies to the unverified list, but Wuxi found 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 it. One of the victims said that the move has no material advice effect on its business. It may help to slightly offset some of the market concern. Together with the rebound of Hong Kong bull chips in the U.S. ADR market last night, Hong Kong stock market is expected to rebound today. Tencent index resistant at 24899. Hong Kong stock connect net info was $1.4 billion Hong Kong dollars on Wednesday, of which Wuxin, Aptek, and Wuxin Biologics Bio record net inflow of $377 million Hong Kong dollars and $113 million Hong Kong dollars, respectively, while Tencent suffered a net sell-off of $229 million Hong Kong dollars. In fact, Wuxin Biologics issued a statement clarified that the company added into the U.S. and verified list would have not a material adverse effect on its business. His share price is likely to sharply rebound when resume trading today. On the other hand, Chinese government continued to loosen mortgage loan approval restrictions since industry leaders such as China overseas and China resources land already accumulated significant share price gain. Investors could also eyes on quality second tiers such as uh, SFI. For this topic, CR, CR Beer. CR Beer announced a positive profit warning. It is expected to benefit from the one-off gains and the increase in growth profit margin. And the net profit for the uh, full year 2020 is around 4.5 billion RMB, an increase of 1.2 times year on year. Even if we exclude the one-off gains, core net profit still rose around 70%. CRBS brand Soflake started to gain from the premiumization. In the half year of 2021, the growth of a mid to high end beer exceeded 50%, far exceeding the overall sales growth. The target price is $72 and the cut lock price is $50.